Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about Atlantic Revolutions. We are all familiar with the story of the American Revolution, how, in 1776, 13 colonies declared themselves independent, and then George Washington and his ragtag Continental Army, with some help from France, defeated the British and created the United States of America. While dramatic and heroic, the American Revolution was only the beginning of an ocean-spanning movement that would create the modern world. At the end of the 18th and beginning of the 19th century, political and social upheavals in many countries around the Atlantic Ocean led to the creation of new nations and the reorganization of old social systems. This revolutionary movement was based largely in the ideals of the Enlightenment and included notions of limited government, consent of the governed, and equality under the law. Two and a half months after Washington became the first president of the United States in 1789, revolution erupted in France. The realm of King Louis XVI was racked by vast debt and economic hardships. The burden of taxation fell on the shoulders of the commoners, or third estate, who had very little political power. When the people of Paris attacked the Bastille, an old royal fortress and prison, on July 14, 1789, they were reacting to the injustices of the old French system and set in motion a chain of events that cost King Louis his head and created the First French Republic. In the wake of the fall of the Bastille, the flame of revolution spread to the French colony of Saint-Domingue on the Caribbean island of Hispaniola. Saint-Domingue was France's wealthiest colony, producing sugar, coffee, and other agricultural products on slave-worked plantations. In 1791, a slave revolt and independence movement led by Toussaint Louverture and inspired by events in France began a struggle to overthrow the existing social order. Following Louverture's death in 1803, Jean-Jacques Dessalines finished the revolutionary struggle, declaring independence and renaming the country Haiti in 1804. Though the Haitian Revolution was marked by vicious brutality, it did succeed in creating the second independent American Republic. By the early 19th century, other American nations had begun their struggles to break free from European empires. Revolutionary leaders like José de San Martín and Simón Bolívar would upend the Spanish Empire in South America, giving birth to the countries of Argentina, Chile, Peru, Venezuela, and Colombia, among others. Soon, Mexico and Brazil would follow suit, throwing off the yoke of their Spanish and poor Portuguese rulers. The so-called Age of Revolutions, that began with the shots fired at Lexington and Concord in 1775, laid the foundation for the social and political development of the 19th and 20th centuries. The forces unleashed by these Atlantic revolutions created the modern world, and their legacy still affects us. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.